29 year old Anthony AJ Joshua stands at 6 foot 6, has an 82 inch reach, and a pro record of 22 wins, 1 loss, 0 draws, 21 wins via KO. He at one point held the WBA, WBO, IBF, and IBO World Heavyweight titles. He had held all those straps since 2017. He lost them in 2019. Joshua, let's be very honest, since his professional boxing debut has always been in physical peak form. The guy has like zero body fat on him. He's shredded and he looks like he's carved out of granite. The last time he stepped in the ring, he weighed in at 247 and three quarter pounds. All muscle. Nowadays, not so much. Although he has yet to step on the scale to officially show us his weight from recent pictures. I'm going to say, visually, it looks like Anthony Joshua right now is walking around at 228, 233. It looks like he's lost at least 10 pounds of muscle mass since his defeat this past June 1st to Andy Rees Jr. Now, why is he losing so much muscle mass? Obviously, the first thing that people think is, was he on the juice? Was he taking steroids to get that big? Was he on some kind of Mexican supplements? I don't know. I can't tell you. And I will not say, you will not hear me say that he was on some kind of performance enhancement drugs. And now that he's off of them, he's shrunk down. Because I never seen him shoot any drugs. And I have never seen him take any drugs. So I will not say any of that in this video also people are known to lose muscle mass if they're going through depression if they're going through a hard time their insides are all fucked up their emotions are off the wall and if you guys have seen anthony joshua in some of those recent videos that he's had with sky sports or whatever or whatever outlet eddie hearn lets him talk to you see that anthony joshua is very emotional and once he gets asked about Certain guys like Lennox Lewis, he goes off. When he gets asked about Andy Reese, he goes off. He's been making these really weird excuses that he wasn't emotionally invested in the fight versus Andy Reese, and that's why he lost. He didn't care about the fight versus Andy Reese, that's why he lost. He was more concerned about fighting Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder, so his head was never in the Andy Reese fight. We know his posts on Instagram. But we really don't know him personally. We don't know what his intake is every day. Maybe he's not eating right anymore. But whatever it is, he's been losing a lot of muscle mass. Another thing to finally think of, of why he's losing muscle, maybe he's doing it on purpose. I know that might be maybe too obvious to some people. But maybe him weighing in at 247 and 3 quarter pounds in his last fight and Andy Reese Jr. weighing in at 268 pounds. And Andy Reese Jr. still being faster than him in the ring was a wake up call to Anthony Joshua and his team to perhaps say, hey, maybe we shouldn't be so muscular going into this rematch. If we lose muscle, Anthony Joshua's body won't be looking for so much oxygen to put into those muscles and redirect it into other places that are needed during the fight. That could be it. Whatever the case, Anthony Joshua is looking a lot leaner. In my opinion, at least 15 pounds lighter than he did June 1st.